hello guys welcome to the 10th video and hopefully the last one of this series in this video i will be sharing the crc calculator for arduino um, so it's not a library it's a function and uh, function you can use with your code so it's very simple let's get started so this is the crc calculator that works i am uh, saying that works because i have come across lots of crc 16x modem libraries but uh, none of them were giving the desired crc results that i can match with the crc result i am getting for from crckelp.com so this is the code and uh, you can learn more about this course from this link and this is the polynomial expression that actually calculates the crc maybe the difference between other valley other libraries and this one is that this says initial values x modem uses ox double f double f but, but this example requires an initial value of zero maybe i don't know it's, it, this is just a wild guess so you don't need to go through the code of this function all you need to know is that um, you need to send an array and an integer to this function and it will give you the crc code so it is that simple we don't need to understand what it does all right there are good news and bad news good news is that we have a crc calculator and the bad news is that the code has jumped from 14 lines to 74 lines um, this code is available in uh, description of this video uh, i will explain key commands and how this these 74 lines code work but uh, there's a catch in description that you do don't allow this uh, less than greater than signs or these angled brackets in the description maybe because uh, of uh, because these are used in html programming so they are not allowed so in in the description i will replace uh, these with spaces or i will just delete these so that uh, this code is available on the description all you need to do is you need to find this um, crc modem update function and this is the last function in the code and you need to uh, put these angled brackets back by by using the slide right so i hope this is not uh, something that you can't do or this is difficult to do so um, the code will be available all you need to do is look um, by matching the slide you need to put this angled brackets in the codes okay let's start uh, talking about the new uh, the new lines in the code um, there are a few new variables and uh, uh, anything that starts with a v in the new code is a variable and uh, um, i could have defined this uh, request length as 5 over here because qpi gs is five characters but uh, you may need to use this code with other commands so i have uh, declared this as this as a variable and moved uh, the qpigs uh, string length to this okay then you will um, if you if you recall what we need to send to the crc calculator is an array so this qpigs need to be saved in an array instead of a text string 
so that we can use the CRC calculator. So I have defined a character array and with the length um, as defined above. And uh, now uh, this uh, string is converted into array. Uh, the array name is v request array. And, uh, this, uh, and arrays need to be um, ha need to have one more character or more, one more uh, what would say a length space uh, to save the string to the array. So this is plus one. And uh, that's it for these commands. Let's let's move forward. Okay, so um, when we need to call CRC calculation, we need to save the CRC in some string. So here, this is the string, this is the output, and we are calling the calc CRC function. And what we need to do, uh, send two things. One is the array and the other is the number. If you recall from this slide, which slide, yeah. So an array and an integer. So the array is the request array the qpigs and this is the length of that array and we are sending this to uh, this calculation when you send this array to this calc crc you don't need to add plus one so uh, here you don't need plus one just send uh, the actual length of the uh, string and which is now converted into an array okay after that what you need to do you are the crc is generated and returned as b7a9 that's we already know this is the crc code for qpijs but uh, this b7a9 is not accepted as a hexadecimal b7a9 is right now is um, ascii this is english well, you know b7a9 this is ascii course so we need to convert this into uh, hexadecimal because we know that when we need to send request to the inverter we need to send it in hexadecimal so we need to separate this so uh, what I have done is I have used the uh, substring function of C++ which is again the Arduino and split B7 and A9 into uh, separately and uh, there is a space added to it right. So uh, with this command I have separated B7 A9 into B7 space A9 and saved this into a string which is CRC check string. Okay, let's move forward. Then uh, I have to convert uh, this to hexadecimal. But uh, before I convert this to hexadecimal, uh, what I need to do? Oh, one thing first. Um, uh, first, what I have done is that. Uh, the CRC check I have saved this string to uh, CRC check string in hexadecimal then the new uh, hex string um, this CRC check string was broken into uh, uh, was broken into parts with space separated them so the new uh, one is vcrc correct so this is the new variable and uh, now this vcrc correct we need to uh, convert this string into um, hexadecimal so to do that uh, i have um, i have uh, declared a s array with six characters and uh, this string crc correct is converted into char array and uh, with the, the this char array is s now right so and then i have defined two variables to these are integers integers xx and integer yy so 
then I have used this uh, scanf sscanf this is C++ function which converts character into expected format and uh, you see I have applied this function on the uh, on the array s and I have told this function that I am expecting an x x x is representing hexadecimal here so i am i have told um, the code that i am expecting these to be hexadecimal and uh, you see if you see here this is one space and again one so th th that's why uh, i have to add space in between in the last uh, here and this is the space and this space is over here okay so um, I am telling to convert this array into um, hexadecimal and the result will be xx and yy these integers uh, the result will be saved in xx yy because we understand that uh, even uh, if it is a9 or b7 in hexadecimal they are not alphabets they are integers so we i am saving these integers uh, i am extracting these integers here and then these integers are being saved in global variable hex1 and hex2 and when you go back and look at the whole um, code you will see that these hex1 and hex2 are being sent to inver inverter right so uh, in short uh, the steps of procedure done developed by me includes uh, first conversion of QPIJS to character array, then send array to CRC calculation function, and then convert the CRC that we have received from this calculation function from XSKEY to hexadecimal format, so that um, so. Uh, the, so that Arduino could understand the result is not in ASCII, but it's in hexadecimal, and they are numbers. Right? It, is it too technical or simple? I don't know, because I have my limitation to explain, uh, as I'm not a professional programmer or engineer. Uh, but this is how, how I have developed the procedure and resolved the issues that uh, arise before me so please use the code and if someone can simplify it that would be helpful for all, all of us um, though i am happy with it as it works for me and uh, and that a code that works for me is good enough for me okay uh, i will also leave, leave the link of three manuals i have found from different website from the net in, in this video description so that everyone can understand uh, and get, get a list of all inverter commands uh, so let's move to next slide all right yeah if you have noticed in description of the last video that was video number nine uh, i have uh, shared some uh, um, some uh, these variables at the end so this is for those people who don't want to go into the mess of uh, calculating using this uh, crc function and calculating the uh, the converted already converted strings are there just like we used qpigs in the 14 uh, line code you can use any other command Th these are not the full command these are not the full commands there are few few displayed over here and uh, you can uh, go and download these those commands from those that description of video number nine and uh, use that all right guys uh, this had been a good learning for me uh, and i'm sh sharing my uh, experience with you guys uh, think about subscribing to my channel or and liking all the videos if you like these videos uh, they may come up better in search and uh, we may be able to help help others together so
Bye for now.